Hey YouTube, it's Jay here. Uh, today I'm doing a product review for the Valley Food Storage, I guess you call it Long Storage Meals. I got this at a discount review. I got the Pub Cheddar and Potato Soup. Let's see from the back here. Now, my wife actually pointed out the fact that it is a lot of salt which she has to watch. So I am going to be trying this by myself today. Now it is sea salt instead of kosher salt, which actually I like. It's a it tends to be a richer flavor in my opinion. But I do warn you it does have milk and wheat, so if not anybody with wheat allergies, can't use this. One thing I like 25 year shelf life. How many people want to buy food 25 years in advance? But I guess if you're you know somebody into camping or you know prepper, this is good for you. Now, one thing I will let you know now I don't like, if you look, it has a zip top. So you would figure, okay, you know, I could open this, dish out this serving, make it, and seal it up for later. No. Um, they give you directions on basically how to make the whole container. So, why would you need it to be resealable if you need to make it all at once? Okay. So I have my water on the boil. Uh, I had already opened the pack, so I can add it in. It says to whisk it in. Now I did notice something. You see how big the pack is? I did not take anything out of this yet. You see how much space there is. That's a little wasteful. Because I'll be honest, if you're somebody who, you know, backpacks, camps, as I said again, prep for them, you want your stuff to take up as little space as possible. So for something that's dehydrated, why would you need, like, half the bag empty? See here. Let's see. Add the contents in. Got them all. And of course, now that you add stuff to the water, it's going to start boiling a lot faster. So just whisk it up to make sure it's all incorporated. And I'm actually going to turn this down a little before it decides it wants to splat me. So we're trying it down to a boiling. Slash simmer. Of course, I guess because it's still dry, it still looks very really lumpy. You picture pub style should be a lot thicker, but it does say 15 to 20 minutes. So I will be back then to take a look at it, and I'll spoon some up for you and show you what it looks like and give you my taste test. Okay, this is the soup after it's, I cooked it for the 15 out of the 20 minutes it said. I shut off my the heat and let it sit about another 5 minutes or so. You can see the, the red peppers in it and some of the other seasonings. But anyway, for dehydrated, it don't look bad. Let me give a taste. Whoops. It rehydrated very well. Uh, my wife actually wants to try a taste too and she'll give you her opinion of it. It does look thick and rich for being a hydrated soup out of a bag. I like it. I actually prefer it over like chunky Campbell's, you know, things like that. Now I tried the dish roughly a serving worth it. It gives the serving based on the weight of the package. But I, I'm guessing since you figure you put in five cups of soup, I mean five cups of water, that's five servings, so roughly a cup would be a serving. Thank you for watching our video.